here now at the Indianapolis Zoo on this fine day, and we are with Dr. Rob Shoemaker. He is the president of the Indianapolis Zoo, and let's start with what we got going on behind us, some chatty birds. We do. This is one of our glorious flocks of macaws, uh, about 20 birds uh, living in here in their outdoor aviary, wow. uh, a variety of different species, all part of our educational efforts to talk about macaw conservation in Central and South America. Okay, and that's what we want to talk about here for the zoos. For most people, I think we understand zoos are so important because they educate us and they help us to learn more about conservation, right? Recently, you had a big gala, too. Tell me about that. Absolutely. I agree with you completely. The conservation message in zoos is one of the most important things we can do. And just a few days ago, we had a fantastic event. It happens every two years, the Indianapolis Prize Gala, where we honor one of the world's leading conservationists with... Uh, an award and, worth mentioning, a check for $250,000. That's the biggest That's anywhere, huge. isn't it? It is the world's leading award for animal wow. conservation, no argument. Wow. Uh, and it is to highlight the incredible, important work that one individual is doing to protect a species. And one person can make a difference whenever you hear that. And the winner this year was? Dr. Russ Mittermeier, oh who is a primatologist and a herpetologist, meaning studies monkeys, apes, and lemurs, and lizards and amphibians. He's a great guy, incredibly well-deserving, and still uh, lecturing uh, post the event, still appearing on news programs, still promoting his work because of the prize. And some of the animals are named for him, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them that he discovered, the, 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 am I right there? You're absolutely right. He's discovered a number of species they were named after him, and then other people, <laughs> colleagues have discovered species they've named after him as well. I think there are nine that have been named after him. Nice. And he was quick to say even an ant. So he has an <laughs> ant named after him, too. And I can't let this go without bringing up uh, one of my favorite actors who also, we know he's not just a good actor, he's a great humanitarian and person because his name is Harrison Ford. What did he do? Harrison Ford received an incredible award from us at the gala, and it's the Jane Alexander Global Wildlife Ambassador Award. This is a celebrity who has used their um, personality to promote conservation. Harrison Ford has done it in a way that is almost unparalleled, wow. both uh, personal advocacy and he's very humble and very quiet about it, his personal resources. Yes. He has been a phenomenal advocate for animal conservation. We're so pleased he was here in uh, Indianapolis to receive this award. I'm just so pleased for him as well. I, he's a wonderful guy, so I, it couldn't happen to a nicer person. Now, what do you say for people who say, oh, we should let them all roam and let them all out of the cages and go? And go. A lot of these animals don't have life skills, do they? They need to be taken care of and protected. It's true. We have some animals here that are rescues, uh, particularly uh, sea lions and one dolphin. Uh, a few other species that for some reason were wild but had a problem, right. medical problem or an injury, right. had to come uh, and live in a zoo where we take excellent care of them. But the vast majority of the animals here besides that were all born here at the zoo yeah. or other yeah. accredited zoos. So they have never lived in the wild. Uh, and we absolutely want to protect the species that are in the wild and leave them there. That's of critical importance. Yes, um, yes. But for the animals here at the zoo, uh, we take spectacular care of them and help other people yes. to be interested in the conservation of their counterparts and in the learn, wild. Learn, 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 learn. And the, and the orangutans, most of the, they came from, they were in showbiz or something. They, they Orangutans can't just, they need to be taught how to be orangutans, so they have to be here, don't they? That's uh, absolutely true, and uh, we have 12 orangutans here. Some uh, were rescued out of the entertainment industry, right, right. Uh, but the majority came from other accredited zoos, and then we've had uh, two infants uh, here now, only two years old, of course, they were born. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's the Indianapolis Zoo. It's a wonderful Thanks, zoo. Uh, it's, it's our zoo, and we share it with the world, and they were pretty quiet behind it. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Come back early in the morning. It'll be a different. Story. Oh, really? <laughs> Chatty birds in the morning. Thank you so Thanks, much, Daddy. Doctor. I enjoyed it very much, and Ooh. look forward for more from the Indianapolis Zoo. We want you to come back anytime. Thanks Ooh. so much, Patty. Bye bye. Bye bye.